In the last public photograph of Queen Elizabeth II, taken after she told Charles it was my job, Queen Elizabeth II remained at work days before her death, with the optimistic monarch telling then Prince Charles that it was her job. In one of the last pictures of Queen Elizabeth II, she told Charles, then Prince of Wales, that it was her job to carry out her duties. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. There had been speculation that the current King of England could replace Her Majesty in public duties, but the cheerful Queen had refused to budge. Her Majesty had insisted on continuing with her duties, and a royal spokesperson says the upbeat Queen was determined to carry on with her duties as usual. On this day in 2022, September 6, the Queen was photographed for the last time in public. In this photograph of the Queen, taken by PA photographer Jane Barlow, Her Majesty meets then Prime Minister Lisa Truss, who was officially appointed Prime Minister on the same day. Just two days before the Queen's death, Barlow took a photograph of the Queen on crutches, believed to be the last public image of the long-reigning monarch. Charles has taken on a number of roles, including delivering the Queen's speech to Parliament, but Queen Elizabeth II is determined to continue in her role. According to the source, she told her eldest son, of course I have to do it, it's my job. A source told the son, it was unusual because it was very casual. Nobody was dressed appropriately. But the figure of the Queen shines. She was very, very happy. She is fun and funny. She is very cheerful. Another source said, there was no panic at Balmoral this weekend. But doctors are all. The great loss was mentioned in a statement following Her Majesty's death last year, which was confirmed by King Charles at the time. He said, We are deeply saddened by the loss of a much-loved monarch and a much-loved mother. I know her passing will be deeply felt by the entire nation, states and commonwealth, and by countless people around the world.